Hey y'all, what's going on? A quick synopsis um, of the Dancing Dolls. I don't even want to talk about the whole thing, and I know I haven't talked about my wives and Kern and, and they hold know. her pulling spill. You just do like this. And not even just her pulling. I but video. I'm not. I'm not going to. Is this the next one? Cause they didn't That's show. Right, yep. I'm trying to see what the next one's gonna be about. The mom. The mom. Oh lord. Well, Anywho, y'all. Let me just tell y'all. Yeah. The dancing dolls was okay. I really don't want to go blow by blow. I thought it was cute that they were doing the hip hop thing. I thought that was cute, and the young men were there and everything. And I was glad that. Other, you know, I wish some of the other young ladies would have been able to try out as well. But I guess they go with they the main ones that do the stance battles. But you know that they let them pick and choose, and they didn't just assume that this one should get it or whatever that they tried out for that. Okay, here's my whole thing, and I I really don't want to go blow by blow. I don't. I just this is just a moment with the dancing dog. Well, no, I do want to bring this up. Honey, I don't know what this new mama's doing. Girl, you mean to tell me just leisurely during the day, you got somebody over doing your makeup and like Selena didn't come there with already makeup on, girl. And did he go from doing your face with the brush to doing hers right away without switching? And was his stuff laid out on the table like that on the towel or whatever? And girl, no, no, ma'am. I don't know. No, ma'am. Let's move forward. Y'all, I'm not digging her. And and then, Selena, girl, you going... I think it's Selena. I don't know. Y'all know Sanjay's mama. Y'all know I like her. But it was kind of like they was feeding off each other. And yes, and the whole pretty thing. Maybe it's the pretty. And, you know, let's don't do that. You know, all the young ladies are beautiful. Let's do not do that. And Miss Honey Cabbage, you just need Miss Already Been There. Sanjay's mother... Girl, you might want to just kind of tread softly because don't get pulled into this bullshit with this new brown, honey. Feel her out like the rest of the mamas is doing. You know, but I guess you feel so cast out and left out. You just glad to have somebody in there that actually likes you and wants to talk to you. And from what I heard, actually, y'all had one of my loves write me and say that she uh, was really the only one that was really, really friendly. I don't know. You know, out of the mothers. I don't know. And I don't know that I would. I think she would be the only one that I would want to meet. You know, I, I can do without the rest. But at any rate, I just. Some of the cattiness that goes on. And now we're going to have them broke down into two groups. Where it's going to be Sanjay's mama and the, and the new mama. And then it's just. I don't know. I'm just not digging it. And I'm not really digging the new mother. But whatever. I don't have to. I watch the show so I can see the babies get their dancing in. Uh, I welcome her daughter and all of that. I'm sure she's going to do great things. You know, I watch it for the kids and see them get their dance on. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is this. Big Olive. Girl, you wreck my nerves. Why are you always trying to act like yours is so ladylike and they so, they really the divas and this and that and other? Girl, we'll never do that. Like, they better and we only ladylike and they, you get on my nerves. And I can understand why Coach D is not digging you, honey, because I could not get down with you. But, bitch, your motherfucking whole car was exposed, honey. You want to act like you took the high road and this and that and other. What you should have done was made sure... That your dancers knew not to do that. But I know they knew that. And girl, you know they was over there saying and calling names, this and that and other. And what's so funny is, bitch, is that you look real fucking ridiculous saying that they didn't say anything when we seen it. You know, you might want to check them. With that being said, to the young ladies who dance on your team, y'all might want to check your two team members that was over there doing that. Because it was because of them that that whole thing got started. And I'm not understanding, you know, you said in Diana with the eyebrow and this and that and other. Well, girl, you do come in there looking like West Fuchsia. But we're going to go forward. And I am going to agree and say maybe Diana did not have to throw shade at your eyebrow and all of that. Let your dancer speak for you. 
you know, but you do an awful lot of talking too. And then girl, and then girl, and then girl, you had a slogan that wasn't even yours, bitch. It wasn't even yours. You was re-quoting Diana shit to her girl. You looked a fucking fool, Resolution. I can't. I will go along with you on the eyebrows and all of that, Diana. You didn't, I mean, you know, you didn't need to go there. You know, hold it down. You didn't have that kind of read for old girl who had the ones that patted the ass and all that, which that was who you really needed to read dust. Anywho, now, Diana girl, I, I'm going to have to have a talk with you. I'll do this whole thing. It was about, oh, I can't stand her. Oh, I can't stand her. The reason why they won is because they had one extra judge or this and that and other. We know this type of shit goes on. But it was your, all you showed was your true disdain for her. Now, you wanted her to rise above and let it be about the dancing and do things as they're supposed to be. Then, honey girl, let your kids, the girls go out there and do their thing like they did. This is the one time that I think I'm like, you know, I really wish Diana would have pumped the brakes. No, I did not want to see you take and act like you pulled your pants down and shit on the bed. Because that's the same thing as you saying them girls shouldn't have been patting their ass. I'm saying if you're going to be a lady, be a lady from the beginning to the end. And I see Diana as that. And I just, I don't know what it is about Miss Fresh Fuchsia. That brings the worst out of her. And as far as I'm concerned, it's just really not even needed. Because you know the dolls can do that thing. As well as you know they can't win every time. And you said that yourself. You know, so I just didn't know. You know, I've never seen you as rowdy as this. You know, and I felt you was right to go and say, uh-uh. Like you said, it's an unspoken uh rule about we don't talk and this and that and other. I understand that and I believe that too. You sit over there and you let them handle it. And I know West Fuchsia knew that them girls was over there talking. That's why she got up and left. And then girl, you wanted to act like oh, well she just did that because my girls must have really done that. I think that the girls, the Olive girls did a good job. I really do. I think that they did a good job. But no, ma'am, honey, you're going to need to teach them some sportsmanship. With that being said, Diana, when you're checking somebody about that boo-boo, I'm going to need you as the true leader to do just that thing. You've been doing it, honey, and Miss Rest Future is not worth it. So keep being the Diana that I'm used to seeing. And I understand that she got frustrated and all of that. I can understand that, but she was not the one that was worth it, honey, at all. When Miss Honey Dip came to your door from Florida, honey, you didn't give her that much fever. You know, so, like you said, I just can't stand her and this and that and other. And I ain't going to kiss her ass, not her big ass. You know, and all of this, that's just... Was a little different for me, y'all. That's just my opinion and how I feel about it. I didn't want to go blow by blow. I thought they did great. I thought it was great that they brought the young men in, you know, and they did a good job, you know, on both sides. Because when it comes to the children and the dancing and all of that, you know what I mean? We, I, I guess, I assume all of us watching it, even though I'm DD for L, I still respect the fact that those other girls on the other side. Our children and somebody's kids, you know what I'm saying? And they out there bucking and doing, you know, trying to, you know, get to that level, you know. So, anywho, y'all, I didn't really want to even talk about the full episode because it wore me thin a little bit. It was kind of boring to me. It was boring. It wasn't even kind of, it was boring, honey. I was like, Lord Jesus, when it's going to be, you know. But I, those those things just stood out to me, and that's just my opinion, you know. I love to see y'all opinion and y'all comments. You know, I'm looking forward to next week. And apparently the mamas is going to be in an uproar and all of that, you know. And then, which I was kind of glad in a way that she was like, oh, you know, Selena was like, oh, you're not used to your daughter getting cut or whatever. And that just made me think. This is why the mothers don't need to be taunting each other and doing all of this competitive stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it should have never been brought up. You know what I'm saying? She didn't make it this time. But y'all make it so serious out there at the door at the glass. And y'all, sometimes they get on my nerves. 
Because I'll be, you know, I really want to watch and support the girls. And I enjoy seeing Diana do her thing and just seeing something positive or whatever. You know, Diana girl, honey, you still my girl in a bag of motherfucking pearls, boo-boo. But I felt like you did not need to act like you was going to shit on it. And, and some of the stuff was just a little extra to me. But I do understand your frustration. But I say take it to the floor, honey. You know, bring it to the back of the runway, darling. Moving on along, y'all. Let me go into something else. And that's all I have on the Dancing Dolls. Um, and, and, of course, after that goes off, these damn preacher's daughters come on. And, honey, this one then cooked my books. Let me tell you something. This little heifer that don't know that she might have the spirit of Jezebel, but we're going to move forward. That is talking to this other young lady about her being lesbians and all these lesbians around her and lesbians is coming out and this and that and other. And girl, you going to your daddy and telling them this and that and other, but yet you was one of the same ones that was out there drinking honey and partaking of the devil's nectar, as some would say. Now, see, I wouldn't judge you on that. It ain't my place. Nor is it your place to be badgering that girl the way you did. And seeing that she left and she was upset, girl, and you had to keep on going. And then, beyond that, you went and told your bushy-eyed daddy, eyebrow daddy, or whoever, I was telling them and this and that was all against me. And you lied. You lied, boo-boo. I don't know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to make yourself look better? Brittany was in here like, see, I couldn't deal with her. I would have to, you know, and I, I'd have to punch her. And I said, you can't do that. The way you get somebody like that is you catch her ass when she's in her drinking, got her legs up, taking jello shots and doing all that stank or dank ass shit. And you get you some good pictures and you make sure you remind her. Girl. Y'all, this shit tried me. I'm going to watch the rest of this. I see that I'm going to have to look at the preacher's daughter just solely because this, this child is working my damn nerves. I'm not saying that she don't have the right to talk about what she deems to be so in the Bible and this and that and other. But one thing about it, boo-boo, when you get to telling people they going to hell, honey, you ain't got a heaven or hell to send nobody to. And you might sit your Jezebel ass down somewhere. Get somebody to rebuke that spirit out of you. And if you want to go to somebody and talk to them about the goodness of the Lord or whatever, I try to bring them to the Lord, honey. You can't never bring them kicking and screaming. I don't get it. You know, I just feel like sometimes people need to examine themselves. I'm not saying that a person cannot say what they believe. But it is a way to have this kind of dialogue. And it's just this kind of hate that you think you're not screwing out. It's the kind of thing that gets a lot of transgender, a lot of the kids in the LGBT community uh, bullied and killed and this and that and other. It's a way to do it, honey. And if you're not prepared and you're not properly schooled, honey, you don't need to be trying to school nobody, little girl. That's what I'm here to tell you. It is too many young people that are dealing with their sexuality that are on the brink of suicide and all of that. And they run into a little something like you, boo-boo, that sends them over the line. And you're going to tell me that you did God's work? But guess what? Guess who also said they did God's work? The Taliban, ISIS, some of these people who commit mass murders. Boo-boo. You might want to check which gods you're working for. I'm just saying. Y'all, that irritates me. It, it, it irritates me. I ain't never telling nobody how they need to be or whatever. I, I don't know fully, but what I do know, it is a way to talk to people. It is a way to have a discussion without badgering them and doing all of that and calling them out. And you don't always have to turn somebody down to make yourself look good, little girl. But I knew what you was doing, honey. I miss Prissy. I miss this. And I was telling them, honey, and God, and they was all against me. They was not, honey. Most of them was just listening. A couple of them had something to say. But they were not doing you basically lied, honey. And you might think about what spirit led you to do that. Now, do I have the right to tell you that you're going to hell for that or whatever? Because given that that 
just that one thing you done, honey, that's in the Bible too. And that's totally against the father as well. So do I have the right to tell you you going to hell? I'm just saying because I don't have a heaven or hell to send you to. What I feel like is, is that a discussion can be had and that two people can agree to disagree and say, well, in my beliefs, I believe this way. Just as on the flip side, whenever I heard a conversation about gay and religion and this and that and other, on the religious side, it's always God said it's an abomination. You're going to hell, yada, 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 yada. On the other side, it's always I don't see where that's written. I don't understand. And, and, and the next thing will be, well, since you're going by that, why ain't you going by all the laws in the Bible? Do you eat shrimp? Do you do this? Do you do that? And nothing is being accomplished. When at the end of the day, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God, honey. Let me be the first one to raise my sin, two of my sinning ass hands and me. It will only be his mercy and his grace. If I make it, you make it or anybody else. Only his mercy and his grace. Because not one of us. Not one. Is worthy. Now. You know, you might want to be one of them Sadducees or them Pharisees, honey. And let them see you praying in ashes and this and that and other. And looking like you all so humble. And this and that and other and pointing out what others are doing and you're over here doing the right thing. But I do believe in that same Bible, honey, that you keep on talking out of. It said, don't be like them, honey. Don't look like it's hurting you to pray and do all of these things and be in ashes, honey. Don't let them know when you are praying, when you are fasting or whatever, honey, just for the sake of other people seeing you. Do it. Some folks feel like they only thing in life is as long as I'm telling you that you're not supposed to do that. As long as I say, no, you ain't no good. You going to hell. You this. That means you got a key to the gates, baby. No, it don't. It really don't. It really, really don't. That tries me and that tests me. I'm not sitting on her saying which is right and which is motherfucking wrong. But what I am doing is I'm just trying to be a mother of gay children. I don't know the right way. I don't know the wrong way. All I do know is that I need to love my children. That's it. Did I want this for my children? No, I did not. No, I did not. I, I did. And, and, and I'm not going to sit on here and this is one into something else. I'm not going to sit on here and fake the funk and say that. Was I not scared when they came out? Was I not nervous? Was I like, I want them to go back and change that again, honey? No. I don't know the ins and outs. I'm still being hurt by that. Because I'm always worried about something happening to them. Just, I don't know. A week or so ago. And you know we just had. Someone that was killed here. And she was a transgendered. Woman. A young lady honey in a hotel. And some man killed her. Here. So. I want that. No I don't. But what I do know is. Is that. I got to love them and stand by them and it's what it is. And like I said a few minutes ago, honey, it will be only his mercy and his grace for all of us. I don't know the right way or the wrong way. I don't know. I can only do my best. And it is hard. And I will say this to anybody who is just found out that your children are gay or in the future if it happens to happen. It hurts. And you're either going to look at that child after they say that to you as your child that they was before they said it and love them the same and try your best to understand. Are you going to look at your child and say, uh-uh, when you said that, you're no longer mine. And whatever happens just happens. But you'll be the main one crying boo-hoo tears if something happens. And I'm just not... Ready for that to be me. 
I will tell you, honey, if you just found out that your child is gay, honey, brace yourself. Get yourself ready, honey. And just as much as you protected your child the minute before, you have to protect them that much more and more fierce the second they mouth close and they stop talking and telling after they get through telling you this is who they are. You better get a motherfucking plan and you better get ready. You better. With that being said, I feel the need to say this to the children that do come out and this and that and other, please understand that it is hard for your parents. Don't think, you know, just because they don't fully understand or they don't embrace everything as soon as you say it, that they are totally against, against you or whatever. You have to allow and give them a chance as well. It's your life and you're going to live it how you want to live it. But you'll have to make up your mind whether you want to come to a medium where in your life you live in your truth and you have your parents as well at the same time. So with that said, you need to figure out how you can explain and share with your parents. You need to establish whatever the boundaries are with your dating life and this and that and other as it pertains to your family life. Not everybody, not every parent, even though they accept, are willing to say, I accept your friend coming to this house and dating you. I mean, just y'all being this way in front of me. Some parents might say, I accept you in the beginning, but I'm not quite ready for that. But things will change. Because see, I was like, you know what? You ain't going to be no going to no rooms and things. The same thing you would do for your straight children. And then I was like, you know what? And I don't necessarily want to see y'all rolling around on the couch and kissing heavy in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Have the same respect for me that you would have for me if you were straight or whatever. Yes, I know you date. If you hold hands, this and that and other. When I say rolling around, I mean rolling around like you're going to go to the jungle. You know what I mean? Figure out what is comfortable for all in the situation. Because sometimes when the gay children come out now, they be so wrapped up with what the coalition, the rainbows, and this and that and other, and what so-and-so said, and whoever's acting this way, and what they doing on Instagram. You better accept what I'm doing, and guess, honey, I'm going to have my honey over here, and we going to our room. No, you're not. We're going to pump these brakes. I know you feel like you built up, honey, but what we're going to do now is we're going to sit down and talk about it. Try to help me understand before you throw me into being the head and majorette at the Rainbow uh, Parade. Although, y'all know, <laughs> I will be more than happy. I'll be, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. But it took me a while to do this. Not that that long, but I, I had to build up. And, and, and I've seen where sometimes kids come out to their parents and they get mad the kids get mad because they immediately are not ready to go to the ball. They're not ready to go to their first drag show and this and that and other. How about you just sprung that on them? Let's explain to them exactly, you know, how you feel, what's going on. You know, find out how they say And y'all come together. It doesn't always be, okay, well, okay, now, honey, now you're going to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm ready. Eventually, but some people need a moment. Now, I'm not saying for those that'll be like, mm -mm, you, uh, uh, no, you ain't no child of man, you ain't no good, you just, I have no tolerance for them. I am speaking to the pres parents that says, okay, this is, you know what I mean, I don't fully understand it, but I love you, but we, you know what I'm saying, we can figure this out together. 
you know, did my wig slide back, honey? I think I got a little too overexcited. Honey, I got it clipped in the back, ain't it? Whatever. I just had to share that, y'all. There was something that was on my heart. And um, just kind of dealing with my own things over here. And, and again, my children have been out for a while, but I still deal with things. And, you know, so it just really, that one right there with them daughters, these preacher's daughters, that one just resonated with me. And I felt it was a time for me, you know, I, I just wanted to share that. I don't have to really explain why I wanted to share it, but I did. And um, hopefully it helps on both sides. I'm just saying, you know, I, I just, it's no easy road. Because like with my mother, she was like, Brittany, do you have to dress like that? With Brent. In the beginning, she wanted his flame turned all the way down. And I had to say to my mother, if you want to be around your grandbabies and watch them for the ne this next part of their life, you, you and them need to sit down because you're going to run them away. And then after that, it was time for a dialogue. And there was a dialogue that, had, that was had. And it's fine, honey. You know, just know that there's that moment. You know, I'm just, you know, just that's what I wanted to show y'all. I, um, I'm a little like, plus y'all, today I was a little frustrated. The motherfucking post office is trying me. I'm going to go into that shit in another video. That's going to be a rant. With that being said, I want to do February video every day in February. And I asked on the Much Love Facebook page and on Instagram you know, what it could be, because, you know, they had Jumpstart January, which I thought was great, and y'all just couldn't do it. I needed that. <laughs> I needed that break, and I enjoyed everybody who's been doing it, and, and I just commend everybody who has done the Jumpstart January. Um, so give me some good names, some topics. I know that it will be February, honey, so, you know, there may be a day of some grown and sexy or whatever. You know, just give me a good name, you know, like we did Don't Stop December. I just need a cute little name to put on there just to, you know, kind of do the 28 days or whatever. And just to find out if y'all on board, um, just let me know. And another thing, just real quick, and, and I am going to talk about the mob wives and stuff and uh, scandal. And I need to look at scandal and why, how to get away with murder again, especially scandal. Because I, me and my mother was on the phone and she was like, I got to turn this off. Where is she at? You know, and I'm talking to her and I'm trying to look and I'm kind of lost on it. So I'm going to watch that and again and talk about those two together. But honey, Miss Pope girl, Miss Lib girl, I I asked the question on the Facebook page, which one, Olivia Polk or Cookie, honey girl, Cookie one girl, I girl. Um, I'm gonna need them to kind of sauce it up because they got quite a bit of competition. How to get away with murder and all of that, you know. So, um, I am gonna talk about that and that shit that went on between Kern and Natalie, and which I really could talk about that shit right now because I don't want to talk about the whole damn episode at all, you know. But I'll wait. I'm, I'm gonna add it in with the little women. I did see them, and y'all gonna get the little bitches. The, I don't care hell and how wild y'all getting the little bitches and the mob wives before y'all get scandal and stuff. So look for that in the morning. And y'all like my little thing. Brittany did this for me. And it says, why am I going the right way? Y'all know my little thing is live, laugh, love. But she did this for me on the wall. And I, I just so appreciate it and love it to pieces. You know how when your babies will bring home when they little something they done colored and it's like... Look what I did. Seriously, y'all. And it had been, you know, ain't been no color or nothing like that around here to wear. But this was just, you know, so sweet. I like it. I think she's going to add some uh, more aspects to it or whatever. Um, and I'm going to talk about these because I did get these from a website that I think you all are going to like. So be looking for that video. Uh, it's a website. It's a China-based website. And, um, I mean, the prices are low 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 
So be looking for that. Let me see what else. Tomorrow, I'm going to... Um, well, shit, I can't. Oh, Lord. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to wait and go back on Monday and argue with these motherfuckers at the damn post office. Anywho, moving forward, moving forward. So, y'all, that's my thoughts, honey. It was all over the place and supposed to be about the dancing dolls and it ended up being something else. So, and I'm sorry it was so long. I'm out of here, y'all, but I'll be back tomorrow with videos. Please leave the little names below or whatever. Y'all, I also like to came back in here today and, and talked about my helper sister out with the stepmother because that the comments was going a certain kind of way and and I am getting ready to talk about it briefly um I understand that people have blended families and all of that you know of course I understand that and um but what I was beginning to see, and I, well, I'm not even going to say what I was beginning to see. As far as, you know, I'm not going to have people calling each other bitches and shit. And it was one set of comments where it was like, well, bitch, you, this ain't even your page and this and that and other. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. And, you know, just because the person feels strongly about the situation doesn't mean that you got to go there, my love, you know. Or uh, with that being said... I could see why that person thought you might have been the one who wrote it. And just this is just to the folks that was in this conversation. You know, although it was nothing wrong with what you were saying, you know, but I guess since, you know, you came back and you replied to some of everybody, but I want there to be an open dialogue. I will not tolerate you know, like the name calling between the loves and this and that and other. So y'all work that out. You know, just I I can't have that. The love, uh, in the Honey, these two loves was at it, and I just don't like to see that. I don't want to, you know. I don't want, I don't want no discord. But everybody's grown, and you know, I come on and say what I want to say. But I just that one was just like, oh Lord, you know. But with all that said, I do want to say this because a couple of people was like. I don't see anything wrong with her wanting to have this time, this and that, another, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to tell y'all why I felt some kind of way about that. And for those who said she's grown and she, you know, you're entitled to that. And yes, she is. And she does need to get it together. But with all that said, again. That is still his daughter. And what also struck me, first of all, what struck me is when she immediately went to talking about that child. And how it was done. I just felt that was just not cute. Then, later on, what also solidified things for me, and again, that was just my opinion, was when you said, not somebody else said. You said, when well she said, basically, that her husband was like, actually, you the one. That let me know that it was a lot. And like I said in that video, it was a lot of shit that was left out. So for those that are saying, you know, I don't understand why should she have to. And she's grown and this and that and other and yada, yada, yada. I understand the me, 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 like one of my loves left a comment, the me, me, me woman, when I met, it's me, 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 and that is it, okay, yes, your husband's supposed to cleave to you, you cleave to him, yada, 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 I understand that, but I wonder if for a minute, and really this could be vice versa, does he look at you and say, well, damn, you know, any woman that would want me to cut my children out or my child or whatever grown or not whether they grown or not they still can want to be around him now they can wash their own clothes and this and that and, other. and with that being said I felt as if it was something as simple as having the conversation that listen and, and somebody else left a comment um, 
you know, you we can do Sunday meals with you twice a month or whatever where you come on sun come over Sundays, but those other two Sundays or whatever, sometimes three or however, that's oh excuse me, y'all, y'all know I got girt. That's gonna be us and our time. You know, as far as the washing powder and the trash bags, mmm. Yeah, she should have something as simple as her own washing powder and trash bags, but and that's another conversation that could be had and really the dad could be like, you know what, I'm just gonna have this extra, like one of my loves said, some cheaper washing powder here, which still is still kind of just somewhat sticky or tacky to me because it's fucking washing powder. You know, I just felt like there's more to it, like I said. And a lot of the people who was kind of like, you know, which I value your opinion as well, and that's why I say we need to have this open dialogue, um, was more or less talking about she grown, she need to be more mature, this and that and other. But did you ever think that the father is on to something when it comes to that husband? We don't know if the husband then... Um, Showed that he, the, the daughter's husband, that he's abusive or he don't, he's trying to make sure that, or even this, that he's merely doing it for the safety of his grandson. How about that? Is that even an option? My point is, just because you marry him and you have the second daughter, when it shouldn't even be numbers on it, does not mean that now your child sets precedent over everything. And like I said, your child sets precedent over everything with you. With him, it has to be even between all of his children. And he also has to delegate time to you. So maybe she was stressing him out. And, and again, I believe it's something else to that because that man ain't just said that off of that. You know, and whenever somebody's like, I don't mean to nitpick. They didn't pick the skins and eyes out of your head. I'm just saying. I just felt the need to say that. And that, I feel like it's something else to it. I wish that, you know, I knew some more backstory. Which she did let on that there's so many things that she couldn't go. You know what I'm saying? She re It would have been too long to go in. And still, with that being said, she's still my love. You know, and when somebody writes for help a sister or brother out... When you write, I mean, you know, you asking for my opinion, but I'm only giving you my opinion. And then you know that it's going to be other people that are going to comment and leave their opinion in how they feel like the situation could be helped. And that takes me back to that whole conversation. And my one love was like, bitch, get the fucking, you know, this whole thing. Like, I don't want that to go on because the, the, the lady who was coming back, uh, my love, who was coming back, and, and you was commenting to just about everybody, it was okay. Because I didn't feel like she was leaving disrespectful comments and this and that. Another, you know, she would, and even if she's in a blended family, because a couple of uh, people said, I'm a part of a blended family, so this is why I'm coming back and commenting or whatever. However, I felt like she was coming back because she felt strongly about this. Just as you was coming back, which you must be the person who wrote it, which might have been too much because I, I leave out names so that nobody knows who it is. Even though I know the person who it's about is going to see it because I, I emailed the video to them, I don't ever want them to give up their teas or whatever because I don't want them to be... You know, it's it's anonymous. <clears throat> you know, so, and even if she was, you know, I just don't want y'all to be arguing. Y'all my loves, we all loves, and that's just how it should be. You know. And we can all agree to disagree. One of my loves said, much love, I ride with you, girl, but I disagree with you on this. And then I had one love who said he was 20, and I understand this lady's better than I, you know, I go along with what you're saying. And and I didn't take that in offense because as I stated, I wanted to hear people's opinions and all of that. We grown and everybody has the right to their opinion. You know, I just had to mention that y'all. Sometimes I guess you got to come in and just, you know, just shit on my mind. 
Um, <clears throat> oh, one other thing. So, y'all yeah, was thinking, since I'm going to do the little February thing, I was thinking, because everybody watches Netflix, and I was just thinking maybe I would put three or four movies out there to be chose from and come and let y'all know what it was, and then y'all tell me we watch it, and I come back and discuss a movie. Or y'all make suggestions on movies or whatever and we watch it and then I come back and we you know talk about the movie or whatever just as something different to break up the TV stuff like that not that we're not doing that but I just thought about that y'all let me know if y'all like that um and listen if we do go ahead with that let me just lay the one rule out I can't do the super super duper demonic stuff. I, I listen. I, I I can watch some scary movies, but when it gets too damn demonic, I be like, mm mm, because I be rip these eyes off the wall, thinking they looking and all of yeah, that. I'm on that. <laughs> you already know, don't you? Waiting you waiting on me to do that, baby? Yep. <laughs> I just don't do it, y'all. You know, so I was just wondering, y'all let me know what y'all think about that um, and everything. Just let me know. You know, I'm out of here, y'all done babbled on to 41 minutes. Much love. I'll be back tomorrow if the Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. All right.